As part of the Cisco Express networking specialization, it is important to have a good understanding of the overall sales cycle that occurs and how to properly engage your customers. In this video, we will discuss how to identify Meraki opportunities, how to deliver compelling demos, and finally, how to go about registering opportunities. Let's begin with identifying Meraki opportunities. As you engage your customer and initiate the information discovery phase, the most important thing is to really focus on identifying their organization's pain points and top priorities. Really carefully listening, asking the right probing questions, and developing a true understanding of their overall strategy will allow you to lead the conversation in the right direction. Hopefully the conversation would lead to the customer revealing goals such as their desires to reduce overall headcount and consolidating their IT staff. This reduction in overhead and overall complexity should be immediately noted as an opportunity to really educate the customer about the solutions to address that concern. The same can be applied to a small to medium sized business with limited IT resources that is in charge of multiple locations. In other similar conversations with groups that may be responsible for deployments across large scale branch deployments or distributed enterprises, their challenges and focus areas may be very different. The single point of glass centralized management that grants the staff clear insight and intelligence into their network from end to end is of immense value. And finally, as with most decision makers at the table, to get more for less or to produce an increased return on existing or future investment is always desired. So once these things have been identified, how do you qualify and position Cisco Meraki? Most, if not all of the day-to-day -day challenges, requirements, and or network design considerations can be easily correlated and directly matched up to many of the benefits the Cisco Meraki platform has to offer out of the box. And the reason behind that is because the entire portfolio was designed with a core philosophy in mind, and that is to simplify IT and to keep the end user a top priority. If the end user is the main network administrator trying to keep an eye on his or her entire network distributed across the globe, Cisco Meraki's centralized dashboard provides that visibility and analytics to provide usage st statistics or health status reports. If the end user is an integrator performing the deployment or rollout of tens, maybe hundreds of brand new branches, the robust dashboard provides efficient tools to help automate that provisioning and onboarding process to drastically improve the total implementation time. If the end user needs to improve their existing network and show new value with their investments, the all-inclusive licensing model, which represents total cost of ownership, entitles, and provides brand new features that requires no additional capex or opex spend. If the end user is a consumer of the network, having the freedom when an organization provides a solid BYOD strategy through an integrated and low overhead MDM solution increases their overall satisfaction and improved productivity. These are all different ways that Cisco Meraki's product portfolio directly meets a customer's requirements through catering to the end user and provides to them that the solution prioritizing empowerment. In addition to information gathering and discovery, a large part of the conversation will likely transition into a comparison discussion. Some confusion will definitely arise when approaching an opportunity where the customer is familiar with traditional Cisco's product portfolio through existing investments. A large part of this clarification is really centered around proper education that you'll need to help lead for the customer in order to properly set the stage to select the most appropriate fit for their organization's needs. Both portfolios have strengths and there is definitely overlap with what can be accomplished, but they go about it in very different ways. With Cisco on-prem appliances, 
It offers a more comprehensive and modular customization approach that can be advantageous, sometimes mandatory, in order to meet some strict regulations or special use cases. Traditional Cisco has also had a long history and positive track record with third-party vendor integration support. And possibly one of the items that push Cisco solutions to the top is the flexibility in deployment through their deep command line CLI configuration options. But keep in mind that in order to utilize and deploy such a complex and elegant solution requires some overhead in the IT staff through training or hiring individuals with CCNA, CCMP, or CCIE certifications and experience. With Cisco Meraki's cloud architecture and portfolio, the customers that do have a cloud strategy or vision can very quickly and easily adopt this technology. They understand the benefits that come with a centralized management platform that offers global and an always-on availability model. Out of the box, built-in tools allow for troubleshooting on the go, again from anywhere and at any time where there is internet connectivity. Streamlined for the end user, the learning curve is next to zero. So whether it is an experienced super user admin of the network or a junior level part-time technician, learning on the fly becomes a real possibility with minimal training overhead cost. The entire solution can be optimized and catered to a single individual or an entire team. The dashboard scales and grows the solution at the pace of the customer. It is very easy to draw lines and arrows between the Cisco on-premises portfolio of products and that of the Cisco Meraki Cloud Managed Platform. Some of these have very clear overlaps and customers may be curious as to how to go about architecting a new network or redesigning an old one utilizing these seemingly conflicting products. The key thing to focus on is that there is no single correct design philosophy and every organization's methodology will be different. The intermixing of the two portfolios is perfectly fine, and the hybrid approach makes sense more often than you might realize. But keep in mind that there are inherent advantages to designing a solution that grants additional functionality when layered together in the way that it was designed. So to take advantage of those benefits requires some foresight and sometimes redesign. As an example, a deployment pairing Meraki MR access points with Cisco Catalyst switches can meet the needs of most companies. But this mix doesn't provide the Layer 7 application fingerprinting or network topology insight that would be gained had the solution been designed with Meraki MS switches working in tandem. It does come around to education, once again, in empowering the customer with knowledge of both offerings and selecting the best in breed to meet their needs. Delivering Compelling Demos The Cisco Meraki sales cycle is inherently different, which translates to a very high velocity model. The cloud architecture and product experience itself is what separates it from our competitors in the industry. The see, try, buy process best captures this experience and the results are exceptional. Customers can observe firsthand the unparalleled visibility and control of the Meraki dashboard through a professional webinar led by the Cisco Meraki marketing team or a sales demo conducted by any member of the sales team including partners. Interested parties can then test out the gear in their own environments with the promotional devices they receive as a gift for attending the webinars or through the Cisco Meraki free trials program. Finally, satisfied customers may elect to purchase the devices and experience a new generation of networking that continues to gain value over time. While the see, try, buy model is very streamlined and allows partners to take advantage of many programs already in place, there is not one perfect pattern or series of steps to every opportunity. Demonstrations could include various sessions of dashboard demos that focus on different products or technologies 
and may possibly include a whiteboarding session to better illustrate complex topics, such as the Meraki cloud architecture. The trial period would likely contain the, high, the highest number of variables that could take some time to work through. The free trials program, along with their dedicated team and the Cisco Meraki sales specialists, are all consultants that will be more than happy to assist with the proof of concept, network design, and objection handling while the equipment is on site with the customer. Finally, the trials may sometimes run into additional pilot deployments that validates the stability and scalability of the solution before a customer feels confident with a full rollout. We demo Meraki's cloud-based dashboard to show that it is fundamentally a different kind of product. The cloud architecture makes a great live demo that can be performed from pretty much anywhere on any client machine. Those prospects in your audience should ideally be leaving the demo saying, that's really cool and intuitive, I want to learn more. The ultimate goal is not necessarily to show all features and capabilities right off the bat, but you should drive home that Cisco Meraki's centralized dashboard is a fundamentally different kind of product with an elegant and clean design. It has sophisticated functionality that is easy to use as well as demo right out of the box. Partners can sign up for a free demo account by going to meraki.cisco.com slash form slash demo. But what does the anatomy of a properly planned, well-structured Cisco Meraki demo look like? What features should be included and how do we transition into the next phase of the sales cycle? The bulk of a proper demo should be spent demonstrating and overemphasizing the key value propositions through what we call the full stack demo. The core set of features provide a very logical flow that captures their attention from start to finish through rel relatable scenarios that the audience can immediately comprehend. Once a foundational layer of knowledge has been established, additional product-specific features can be layered on top to address the needs and challenges of that customer. This progression should be aimed at planting seeds of desire into the customer and recommending product evaluations as a next step. Let's take a closer look at the full stack demo and the various features that really showcase the end-to-end -end value provided within the Cisco Meraki dashboard. Dashboard truly gets better with the full stack that includes client endpoints when you start looking at the various efficient provisioning, unified monitoring, and cost savings reporting tools. With network topology, a real-time topology depiction reveals appliances that are alerting or offline along with intelligence such as link speed, connected clients, and other data with a hover of a cursor. Summary report provides admins with the ability to customize, filter, and schedule comprehensive reports that present historical data that empowers IT teams to make informed decisions. Examples include deploying additional APs to oversaturated areas or creating a managed power schedule for switches with high power usage. Various network deployment overviews provide visibility and insight of network and device health status that can be further tracked and proactively mediated through the effective use of alerts and notifications and that become valuable in large-scale deployments. Finally, live troubleshooting tools exist for all Meraki appliances that grant the IT staff with the ability to perform actions such as ping, reboot, or perform throughput tests directly within the dashboard on their device details page without the need for physical access. Building off of the full stack dashboard demo, an endless number of features can be showcased across all of Cisco Meraki's product families. These product specific deep dives can really help close deals and even help showcase the true value of Cisco Meraki's future proofing of products through software enabled feature updates.
be sure to carefully plan and prepare these demonstrations in advance so as to recognize the selected devices or examples are online and ready when it is showtime. Should the product specific use case generate enough interest, be prepared and knowledgeable about the various ways of trying Meraki gear for free. There are two main ways of obtaining equipment for proof of concepts or trials. The most effective and longest running promotion is the Meraki Free Trials program. This program has full backing from Cisco Meraki that is represented by a dedicated team that will handle the entire process from start to finish. Once the partner or Meraki sales rep has initiated the trial program through selection of the desired trial equipment, the team will prepare the logistics of shipping out the gear at no cost to the customer. The same team will also be the advisors to the customer during setup, configuration, and be their support contact throughout the evaluation period. There is no risk. If the customer is not satisfied, they can return the gear at no cost or obligation back to Cisco Meraki. The other recurring marketing initiative is the Cisco Meraki webinar series. Once registered, qualified participants who attend the webinar will receive various complimentary Cisco Meraki promotional gear that includes a full license key. The webinar series covers various Cisco Meraki products, technologies, architectures, as well as a variety of deployments across various verticals. For more information surrounding the free trial program and the webinar series, contact your local Meraki sales rep or visit meraki.com for more details. Registering Opportunities At Cisco Meraki, we pride ourselves on an aggressive deal registration program to reward our partners for uncovering opportunities in the marketplace. Depending on the region, the method of deal registration will vary based on the availability of Cisco Meraki products on Cisco's global price list, the GPL. The Cisco Commerce Workspace, or better known as CCW, is a platform that Cisco partners and distributors use to register deals, request special pricing, and in place orders for products listed on Cisco's GPL. It is accessed at cisco.com slash go slash commerce workspace and your Cisco ID must be associated with an active Cisco partner organization. The Meraki Partner Portal is a platform that also provides a place to perform deal registration, but this ordering process is only for products from the Meraki product portfolio. The Meraki Partner Portal is located at merakipartners.com and also contains numerous tools and resources catered specifically to partner reps. Let's take a minute or two to review what's within the Partner Portal. Firstly, there are usually news and headlines that cause special ongoing promotions that will be advertised throughout the portal. So keep an eye out for various limited time programs to help incentivize and get your foot in the door with customers. The Deal Registration tab is one of the key focal areas of the portal and will continue to allow partners from around the globe to register Cisco Meraki opportunities until the full product portfolio has been 100% integrated into the greater Cisco GPL and completes a migration to CCW. As you utilize and build a bill of materials within the portal, if integrated, it will automatically transfer your opportunity over to CCW. Otherwise, it will continue processing the opportunity submission within. As discussed in the previous section, the Meraki product marketing team holds several reoccurring weekly webinars that can be used to help generate interest and build pipeline. The way that every partner can take advantage and piggyback on those virtual sessions is by visiting the Lead Generation tab. Here, you will find a custom referral URL link that you can copy and paste into different media outlets such as email or LinkedIn. 
This referral URL to the webinars has a custom identifier built in such that you will be notified upon registration and completion of a webinar by a customer so that you can re-engage them in conversation. There are also full email templates that are custom tailored to different customer verticals located on this page at your disposal. The collateral tab within the partner portal should not go overlooked. Not only are there great documentation written specifically to help onboard new Cisco Meraki partners and to give a rundown of the various processes and systems, but there are also articles that cover a wide range of topics. New product or feature announcements, technology use cases, customer wins, and integration white papers. All of these are meant for the partner's eyes only. For those that want to continue to pursue their self-education and further their technical development, the training section contains invaluable resources. New technical webinars and other virtual class offerings are listed here along with recordings of previously held events for you to watch on demand and at your own pace. Similar to the documents available on the Collateral tab, all items found within the training section is only available to partners in a more exclusive knowledge base. As you initiate the ordering process through deal registration, you'll have to first familiarize yourself with the different tiers of pricing and the prerequisites or approvals needed in order to attain a certain pricing level. Standard pricing is the most common level as most orders are placed using this pricing tier. All Tier 2 Cisco partners can contact a local or preferred distributor to get a quote and place an order using that price, which Tier 1 partners can order direct from Cisco via CCW. Should the case arise where additional discounting is needed, the deal now becomes non-standard pricing. A partner must create a quote and then request special pricing from the appropriate Meraki sales representative, and only after the deal has been reviewed and approved will the non-standard pricing deal be released and processed. The last level of pricing involves the Opportunity Incentive Program or better known as OIP. It is a very popular and beneficial deal registration program that Cisco offers to the partner community as it provides additional margin to the reseller. OIP requests must be created and accompanied by a bill of materials and again approved by the Meraki account team. There are several other considerations and prerequisites that must be met for OIP. Let's take a closer look at the program. Cisco OIP is also known and referred to as hunting in certain countries. They are one and the same. The focus of the program is to again reward and recognize the Cisco Channel's partner community when they seek out and develop new potential Cisco and Meraki businesses. OIP and hunting is a platform on which we build a neutral and fair playing field for those qualified partners that proactively register the opportunities they have developed or discovered. The key word is qualified. Who can qualify? Or how does a partner fulfill the checkboxes to meet OIP eligibility? OIP and hunting is an ongoing program that is only available to all partners who are certified at the select, gold, and premier or beyond levels. This does not include partners at the registered status level. There are various ways for a registered partner to attain the select certification or beyond, and one of those ways is by passing the Cisco Express Networking Specialization. Now, Assuming your partner organization has met that eligibility level, what are the other qualifications of these potential opportunities? Firstly, the deal must be recognized as incremental net new business to Cisco. In other words, 
it cannot have been previously qualified. The actual deal requirements when it comes to the Cisco Meraki OIP registration mandates that each deal exceed $5,000 US dollars according to the list price. Should the OIP be a mixed bill of materials consisting of both Cisco and Meraki part numbers, they are now subject to a $10,000 US list price minimum. All of the requirements are closely reviewed and enforced by the Cisco Meraki account reps that are assigned to approve or deny all submitted opportunities. For additional OIP information and resources, please visit the list on this slide, cisco.com slash go slash OIP. A quick overview of the progression in submitting a quote or deal for OIP can be seen here. This is a simplified, high-level overview that generalizes the major steps to capture the key elements, which start with creating the request, validation of the partner and deal info, including the deal ID, submission, and finally sharing slash approval of the opportunity. Presented on this page are various quoting and ordering guidelines that serve as best practices or general rules of thumb when preparing to submit a deal registration as covered in the previous two workflows. Among the notable items include proper line items to be included in a satisfactory quote. This is comprised primarily of two parts, hardware and the cloud managed license in a one to one ratio. Cisco Meraki licensing will be covered in detail with thorough explanations in a subsequent section of this training. But the key takeaway as it pertains to submitting opportunities is that Meraki licenses are considered by the Cisco platform to be products. There are no configurations or different versions of services to be attached as support contracts. The license represents the total cost of ownership and is all inclusive. Whether the opportunity involves non standard pricing or OIP, they will ultimately involve the Cisco Meraki sales rep for approval. As such, it is highly recommended that they be engaged from the very beginning, even before submitting the quote. To assist partners in locating their Cisco and or Meraki account reps, the email alias Productivity at Cisco.com, which is constantly being monitored, can be utilized along with the Find My Rep tool within the Meraki Partner Portal. In this video, we discussed how to identify Meraki opportunities, how to deliver compelling demos, and also how to go about registering opportunities. This concludes a section of the Cisco Express Networking Specialization on the Meraki sales cycle. Thank you for watching.